Buddy, I understand. Time to take a load off. Coffee, 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 coffee. Thank you, buddy, for making me coffee this morning. Good job. Good job. It's going. Here it comes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Just... Well, regardless, one o'clock would be five times for everyone. So at one o'clock. I'm a little out of the running shoe running shoe game right now, so thank you Brooks for sending these. I'm not sure what's in here. All right, let's open these up. There we go. See what's going on. Go see dough. What is in here? Oh, there. That's good. A little, little flashcard action. Who remembers those? All right, just learning the math problems, everybody. All right, there. First box, okay, here's... Oh! Not, uh, it didn't make my top three. Remember I had a top three vlog, top three sleeper shoes of 2022. And this would be a 2023 shoe already arriving. Thank you, Brooks. The 15. Yes, indeed. The Ghost 15 right there. Oh, my, my. I, this is like a, oh, plush, plush. Oh, it feels good to be doing shoes again. Plush uh, heel counter, plush heel collar. And I'm going to say much softer on that thumb test for the midsole. The Brooks Ghost lineup is just... It's just a knock it out type of shoe. Knock out the miles, knock out the daily training. And it feels, to the initial touch, it feels like they softened up that midsole a little bit. Very, very uh, excited. Yeah. Thank you, Brooks, for sending them along. All right, here we go. Troy's got the map. May have lost the kids. Just saying. May have... <laughs> the corn mazes are tricky. They are tricky, everybody. Don't be fooled. They are no joke. All right. We got the little ones. Just looking for Joseph and Seth. Are you okay? Michael, are, are you okay? Yeah. Were you with the boys? Okay. High five. Thanks for that. True love, true love, true love. Hey, they're just taking our children. She gone. Oh. Oh.
driving the tractor. Buddy, I understand. Time to take a load off. been seriously lost in a corn maze. I don't, I don't, I'm making a confession here. I've never been in a corn maze until today. That was a whole seven acres. That was a large, we got a little lost and the kids ran off and we found everybody. We are safe, we're good to go. Woo, that's a little, <laughs> a little bit of a learning experience there. Oh my goodness, ah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, we're off to get the run in. Woo, moving on up. You'll see what it's all about once we get there. Just got a little windy outside today, everyone. So we're gonna wrap it up here in the car. Uh, I did not forget, Haradium on Twitter. You win the Rebel V3s. I will reach out to you on Twitter. Haradium, you were the third person to tag me with your shoe size for the Rebel V3s. Congratulations. Send me your address, probably probably through email, and then I will ship those Rebel V3s. They're not in the car right now, but I will get them off to you as soon as possible. All right, comment of the day, question of the day. Let's do the QD first. Um, what is, all right, we're almost to November. What is one more, not two, not three, not 10. What is one more running goal that you would like to accomplish between now and December 31st? All right, we've got a little, little over two months to go in 2022. What's one more running goal? Your whole, and it could be, you know, you wanna, you wanna become a little more uh, flexible. You could be, you know, you wanna increase your sleeping by an hour. It doesn't have to be connected directly to setting a PR. Maybe it is. Maybe it's finishing your first marathon, but that's the question of the day. And Julia, you get to comment of the day. I try hard to find the time for prehab work. I am slowly coming back from proximal hamstring tendinopathy. PHT, Julia, I feel ya. It is, it's stubborn. It's not the worst painful injury I've ever had, but man, is it, it's not comfortable. It's like always lingering. So I get you, Julia, it is not fun. And I never want to deal with it again. High five, Julia. I found that making time even for 15 minutes a day for prehab helps with all the little aches and pains. I dealt with IT band syndrome, which was remedied by working the hips and the glutes. It's so amazing, hips and glutes. It's so key if you're struggling with soft tissue injuries below your hips, go to a professional, uh, physical therapist, and I wouldn't be shocked if they tell you you need to strengthen or work on your mobility in the hips and glutes area. Okay, I fixed the lingering pain from an old ankle sprain by working on my ankles, and now I'm working on the hamstrings because of the PHT. My warm up routine is much better now, which helps as well. Live and learn, Julia. Boom. That's all we do here in DGR is live and learn. I'm out the door, <laughs> out the car door. We're gonna uh, get into this wind 20 minutes 20 minutes all right here's a little footage uh, of hopefully the drone does not blow away and i will give you a full report over on strava as far as how the run goes everybody onward and upward and uh, have a great week oh it's nice to start a new week you know what i mean new goals new week and we will toss it to um speaking of julia some PHT tips and tricks that I learned along the way and dealing with PHT right here right here right here all right See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.